Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Historical Gamer once again returning to Rule the Waves, a succession Let's Play series that I'm in the middle of. I'm actually live streaming right now on YouTube. You can follow me on my channel uh, when I do live stream. But um, for those of you just joining, this is part eight, I think it is, of my Let's Play of Rule the Waves. Uh, I will be turning the game over to Tortuga shortly. Uh, it's January of 1904, so I've got two years left under my reign before we turn it over. We're in the process of finishing up one of our La Toche Travel class heavy cruisers. We've got one in service, and we designed a new light cruiser class, the Sardinia, uh, last time around in honor of the island of Sardinia, which we took over from France. Or France, good lord, took over from Italy. We are playing as France. Um... We did fight a successful war. I haven't designed any new battleships. I'm not building any. I have 15 in service right now. I've got, I'm going to have 10 heavy cruisers here very shortly, and I've got 22 light cruisers either in service or building, as well as over 50 destroyers. So I've gone full on light in terms of the ship, uh, the ships that I, I'm using. Now, someone just mentioned in the chat here, kind of a neat little thing that I did not know about. Um, if we click on our heavy cruiser and we go to picture, there's no picture available for the ship. But apparently, if I right-click and I go to change ship picture, I can generate one. Um, I don't see anything. Do I need to do anything? It's just a blank ocean. Generate hulls and guns, masts. Okay, I don't see anything. Um, cruiser. Oh, I've got to hit generate, I'm, I'm assuming. There you go. That's our cruiser. Oh, boy, she's an ugly one. <laughs> okay. Um, still, that's kind of cool. So we'll use an exit. So now when we click on that heavy cruiser and we go to picture, there she is. Uh, ugly as hell. Um, and I didn't generate a mast or anything, did I? So if we go... <laughs> Go to generate picture. We generate. I don't know if we have to add a superstructure or something. Do we have to? I don't see a hull or anything. Why is it all flat? Whoops. Um. Oh, cool. I can. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even know this existed. So I can go and. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is stupid. But. Can I only do one? Oh, no. I can put two. So we have both lifeboats. I can build a superstructure. Oh no, the lifeboats are gone. Okay, lifeboat. Lifeboat. Superstructure. Looks like a merchantman superstructure. Wait, why'd it go away? Do I have to use an exit every single time? I'm not going to keep doing this, but. Huh. It looks like a merchantman superstructure more than anything, but anyway. So that's kind of neat. You can generate your own ship uh, image. Um, let's try that with the, the Charles... No, not the Charles Martel. The Marangino class. So we'll go ahead and go in, generate a picture. Just generate. So it's a three-funnel. You can see the secondary turrets. You've got the main turrets fore and aft. And then you can add superstructure. We can change what it looks like. So it looks less like a merchantman. They all kind of do... Um, but I don't, I don't know where the superstructure goes on this thing. Then it's covering up a turret, you know? That looks dumb. That looks better, I guess. But is that, I guess that is the front of the ship. And then, eh? <laughs> that thing looks dumb. It looks dumb! I don't care. That's a really neat little feature that I just found, and I know it's stupid that I'm so excited about it, but that's really cool. Um, anyway, we're building... I told you we're building cruisers. Uh, we're also building destroyers. We've got some stuff that'll be coming off the way soon. I'm also building bigger docks, so we're setting ourselves up to be able to build big battle fleets soon. There's a political murder in the Balkans. Oh no, hopefully it's not Franz Josef. Uh, what is your advice on how to handle the crisis? Demand the guilty be brought to justice, even at the risk of war. Um, there should be a diplomatic solution to the crisis. Increased budget minus prestige. Eh. The nations are stupid enough to put their fingers in the Balkans fire. There should be, can be burned. Okay. Well, tensions are going up no matter what, right? So this one just increases tensions twofold. I probably should stop increasing tensions with Britain. I don't think... 
Stop telling me Northern Asia can't support it. Okay. You guys are coming home. Okay, those two heavy cruisers are coming home because it looks like they need repairs based on the little uh, asterisk next to their name. So, two heavy cruisers coming home, tensions increasing with Britain, uh, docks are almost done, heavy cruisers almost done, actually it might have been done. No, she's done in three months. But our budget keeps going up because tensions keep going up. So you can see here we're now up to $238 million a year, which actually puts us on par with Germany. Uh, Great Britain is almost 300 million, but we're much higher than everybody else. And I think Engl or I think Italy loses uh, some of its budget because it lost Sardinia, so that decreases their you know their total economic output, which influences their budget, I believe. Uh, while our base resources go up because we took uh, Sardinia, um, base resources. So I think the from possessions or something increases because we get Sardinia. I'm pretty sure. Ship sunk. Actually, let's look. What do we think of Italy? So during our war with Italy, uh, I mentioned in a previous video that we lost a light cruiser and five destroyers in our war with Italy. Italy lost worse. They lost a heavy cruiser, the San Giorgio, uh, a 10,000 tonner. If we look at her, she fought in two battles, apparently. Only four-inch belt armor, four 10-inch guns, 14 cents. So that's a decent heavy cruiser there at 22 knots. Uh, they lost the light cruiser Bari, which if we look here, 12 four-inch guns, pretty much undergunned. Uh, they lost two AMCs, uh, six inchers, 12s, just slow. And then they lost five destroyers as well of three different classes, uh, four torpedo tubes. Wow. Uh, this one had just two torpedo tubes, and this one had four torpedo tubes. They're 500 tons and 500 tons. This one 400. No, they're all 500 tonners. Okay. It's kind of neat. Uh, nobody else has lost any ships, so just us. And all things considered, I think we're doing all right. We're going to go ahead and jump forward another turn. New docks are completed. Under construction could not be completed with our best fire control. This, okay. Could be completed with the best fire control. Yes, add one more month. German battleship, 11-inch guns, four main guns, seven secondaries. Okay, so the Prussian class. Uh, German battleship there has pretty decent armor, unlike most of the ships we've seen. Um, Germany's reportedly increased naval spending, so, wow, $20 million increase. Germany's going to be hard to keep pace with. Um, yeah, I have a feeling they're going to rapidly outstrip, outstrip our Navy. Okay, so we're up to 22,000 tons on our dock size. We could build a mammoth battleship. I really kind of want to, um, but we still have crappy main guns. I really want better main guns. I don't know if we need... How do we increase our... It's a low priority, and it went up another level. Whatever. Um, <sighs> okay, fine, whatever. I guess we're just going to keep going. Okay, one of our agents is, seems to be caught in Italy. Deny any involvement. Make them a national hero. It increases my prestige. It does increase tensions with Italy, but I don't care. Who cares if we increase tensions with Italy, right? We already beat them once. We'll beat them again. Uh, intelligence reports the British Navy has a majority of their heavy ships in active status. What do we do? They're probably just conducting annual maneuvers. Don't fret about it. Send a note suggesting they reduce their stance. Uh, who knows what can happen with that? A big question mark. Or mobilize all of our major ships. Well, te technically, they're all already mobilized. Um, they're probably just conducting maneuvers. Let's not fret about it. Increased industrialization improves national resources. Okay. Well, that's what we're going to do, folks. We are going to go ahead and build a new battleship. Now that we have 22,000 tons, and no, oh no. Dreadnought's been laid down. HMS Dreadnought has been laid down. Uh, the Dreadnought age is upon us, folks. It's only May of 1904. Uh, but we will soon be in, well, in truly over our heads. So the best thing to do right now is to build a quasi-dreadnought, a semi-dreadnought, as they were called, uh, in order to ensure that we have something that won't be totally outclassed. No, that's probably the wrong thing to do, but it's what we're going to do. So let's go in here. Let's design the ship. Let's go ahead and build. Can we build a battle? Can we build a battleship? Does it let us do that? Really? We can. We could build a dreadnought class... 
No, it switched it down to BB. I'm wrong. So if I go here and auto build, it'll just drop down to a BB. So what if I do this? Should I identify this BB? Let's add. Oh boy. Oh, I don't think we've researched the the requisite uh, requisite turrets, which would make it a really bizarre design where it would have like two main forward facing and two main rear facings, and we can't do super firing. So um, I guess that rules that out. Uh, okay, so we're going to have 16 10-inch guns as our secondaries. Damn, those are big guns. We're going to have four. We're going to make them 12-inchers. I really don't like the 13-inchers. I just have something against them. Um... Okay, that saves us a bit of weight. I don't need any torpedo tubes. That's stupid. No reason to have torpedo tubes on a big-ass battleship like this. Uh, they're in double turrets. We've got, also got 3-inch guns, 20 of them. Jeez, that's a lot. Why don't we drop that down a bit? Save a little bit of weight. Um, I want her to make 19 knots. That's what our current battleships make. So we'll have to increase the displacement, but I'm okay with that. Uh, we're going to increase the belt as well. I want it to be 11 inches, especially with the British building a dreadnought. We need this bad boy to be heavily armored, uh, as heavily armored as we can make her in order to withstand punishing blows uh, from an enemy with massive guns. Um, okay. This is making her damn heavy, but I'm okay with that. We can go up to 22,000 tons, remember. Uh, not that we necessarily want to because she'll be incredibly expensive, um, but we could. Um, so 16 10-inch guns, damn, that's a lot of firepower. Uh, four 12-inch guns, and no torpedo tubes, 11-inch main belt armor. I'm tempted to kick that to 12, uh, but that's insane. 19 knots is her top speed. And let's see how big she needs to be. Jeez, 22, she's still too heavy. Urgh. What if we make her short-ranged? No, it's not worth it. Medium range is fine. Um, I guess we drop the belt extended to three inches, maybe? And maybe we drop the main... Should we drop the main belt to ten? Still not okay. Um, we could drop it down to twelve. That gives us a broadside of six ten-inchers and four. That might be the route to go. Then we can increase her armor back up even bigger. Ooh, the deck armor. She's heavy. Conning tower. Hmm. We could make her 18 knots. L lumbering beast she would be. I know it's not that much slower, but our main battleships all have, I think we all have 19 knots, right? Oh, the Charles Martel is 18 inch, and so is the Brennus. So, hmm. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I think we're going to go with this. 22,000 tons, 12-inch belt armor, 4-inch belt extended, 3.5 deck, 1.5 deck extended, 11 on the turrets and conning tower, 3 inches on the top of the turret, 7 inches on the secondaries, 4 12-inch guns, 10 secondary, uh, or 12 10-inch guns, that's 3 on each broadside, 3 16-inchers, she'll carry 90 rounds per main gun, um, oh, wait a minute, we're, we're still, what am I talking about? The weight is still not okay. Um, maybe we just make the belt 11 and a half. Damn. Make the belt extended three and a half. And we cut the ammo by five. Yeah, I think that's the answer. Uh, two central firing. Do we want central firing or range finder? Is it is central firing better or central range finder better? Which one? I think central firing probably. Is 
Center firing is better. Okay, so we'll go with that. Um, gun data, you can see here, the 12 incher. A max range, 12,000 yards, although it's not going to hit much at that. Um, I really wish this was a, not a negative one. And... Okay, so I think this is going to be it. We're going to call this the Historical Gamer Class. So then Tortuga will probably promptly scrap it. In my own vanity, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, in my own vanity, I'm going to go ahead and name it after myself. <laughs> I've never had the... Spicy Chicken Deluxe from Chick-fil-A, Riles. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and save. S ship is identified as a BB. That's fine. And we're good to go. All right. Yes, bring us to the build dialog. And where is my new ship? There we go, the Historical Gamer. 2.5 million per... I'm going to make sure I lay down at least two before... Ooh, pricey. Actually, it's not that much more expensive than the Latuk Travel class, which is kind of crazy. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and end the turn. Are you kidding? Naval gun 14-inch researched. Ah! God damn it. Fuck this game. <laughs> I waited for a year to not design a ship so I could get a better, bigger gun. And it gets designed the turn after I design my new battleship. <sighs> oh. <laughs> and I just spent $5 million to, to build the first of that class. Okay. You would do that, game. You would do that. All right. The Prime Minister wants to hold an international Navy gathering. Okay. The Navy supports it. Drops prestige. Yeah, I mean, anytime I can increase prestige and drop tensions, I'm okay with that. Um, we're back in the black. You can see our new heavy cruiser is completed. Um, so that's good. I do want to lay down another historical gamer class battleship here. Prime Minister wants battleships to increase our national prestige. He wants me to build three? Oh, boy. Yikes. And we lose two prestige if we fail. We also lose budget. Three additional battleships. Yikes. We'll do it, Mr. Prime Minister, if that's really what you want. Must have four BBBB or BC building. Oh. Okay. We'll see how quickly we can bankrupt uh, our country. So I guess the historical gamer class is going to be quite large. We're going to build three. Um, what should I name the second one after? Let's see. Who wants a battleship named after him? Seriously, Riles, my gals, stop. I've never had a Big Mac, honestly. All right. We're going to call one the Lien. Liana. Holy crap, we're going to be so far in the red. This is going to be insane. I guess we can always halt the construction, right? It doesn't not count as under construction if the construction's halted, right? Um, we're going to build two more. This is probably stupid and short-sighted. Or Elena, I'm sorry about that. I misread your name. Chardons. And last one. Last one as we go bankrupt. Um, 
I'll name one after Tortuga. That way maybe he won't scrap it. Tortuga power. So we've got enough money to build these all for one month. <laughs> all right. We got some new ships commissioning. Strikes in Italy. Shipyard experiences shortened construction of DD by one month. Problems in delivery of equipment. Okay. So we need to halt construction on some stuff in order to actually have, you know, funds to do, do this. So we're going to halt construction here on two of these ships. That saves us a bunch of money. I think that still counts as ships being built by us. Um, additionally, for some of the ships in service... The Trident classes are pretty garbage anyway. I know they're 15,000 tons, but they've only got four. I mean, they got these wing turrets, which I don't even think we've researched yet. Somehow the game threw us a design that we don't even don't even have. So I'm actually going to put start putting these ships in reserve. Uh, it doesn't save us a ton of money, but it does save us, you know, 400,000. So we're going to put four battleships in reserve. And actually, maybe one of I don't... Is there really an advantage over reserving versus mothballing? We're not breaking the French economy, folks, by the way. I just want to, I want to clarify that. We're creating jobs. We're making France great again. Halted construction doesn't count, seriously. It still has it in the almanac as being built. Four. Great. So I'm going to get fired or, you know, demoted or whatever. Um, let's see here. All right, we're going to pause construction on these light cruisers. Actually puts us back in the black. Yeah, we'll do that. The press headlines on the threats from Great Britain. The Prime Minister authorizes increased naval spending. Thank God. Uh, the government's considering making symbolic concessions to Great Britain to lower the tensions between our nations. What's your response? No concessions or t concessions? Damn, no concessions. I want to increase my prestige. Research breakthrough, weight savings. Okay. So our monthly are back in the positive. So we'll go ahead and resume construction on this. And it does put us in the negative, but again, that increased naval spending is, is a godsend as our budget skyrockets. We're less than $100 million behind the British now. Um, we should have some ships coming off the way, so we actually will be able to balance the books here shortly. We've got four under construction. Three centerline turrets, so we can probably start making dreadnoughts shortly. The British are already building two... Ugh. <laughs> These things are going to be, like, out once the British already have dreadnoughts. This is going to be our response to the dreadnought, is this massive thing. But I think you get an efficiency penalty. It doesn't give you the same kind of bonus that an actual dreadnought would. Um, I would say that, you know, France is technically in the game penalized for having an inconsistent naval policy. And I think it's safe to say that I have an inconsistent naval policy. I went from, you know, primarily focusing on light ships and uh, kind of shifted to now building four super heavy battleships. And I guess the British Dreadnought class is called the Caesar because they're building three for flip's sake. Um, yikes. Okay, so budget balanced. We'll go ahead and resume construction on these because we've got another light cruiser completing this next turn. You're receiving much praise for battleships, building the battleships requested. All right. I'm glad to see him getting praise. We're into the last year. 50,000 pounds has been collected by popular subscription to finance a new battleship. If you do not build a battleship, you may become the focus of some displeasure. Really, guys? Really? You want me to build another battleship? I have no... Oh, that's a lot of money, actually. I do have money for that, then. Um, okay. Do we want to design a new class? Can we design a new battleship class? Can we design a... A dreadnought class. 
We can. Okay, we can. Biz- I'm glad to know we can build our first. Now that I just named a class after myself, it's going to become obsolete and quickly surpassed. But we can. The good news is we can build a dreadnought class. It's six, but they're not super firing, so there's just two in the back, but you can't shoot over it, so that's kind of dumb. Um, let's see here. I think we can only put three three turrets on the center line. That's kind of my thought. Starboard forward. Midships. Uh, I can back maximum of three center line turrets. Damn. Have we designed triple turrets yet? Can we design a quad? We do have that as our nation tech. Not researched. Darn! Well, what's the point of a dreadnought if you only have six main batteries? There are six main guns. That's not really... Okay, okay, okay. Yell at me. Clear all turrets. Let's just kind of figure this out, okay? So if we put starboard aft and a double single turrets are allowed there so that's dumb i don't really think there's any point i mean we sure we can technically build a dreadnought but what's the point of having a six gun dreadnought we need those wing turrets and we don't have them so i guess we're gonna have to hold off on that now we really need more research on on these turrets which is weird because we're further ahead with turrets and gun mountings than we are anything else you would think we would have that research down but i guess we don't so far, Britain looks like the only one who's laying down. But the Americans and Japanese are both... La- oh, and the yeah, and the British are laying down battle cruisers, which is not great. Um, so I guess, do we build another of the historical gamer class? Really don't like the idea, but we've got 50 million pounds, and people will be kind of pissed if we don't. So I guess we do lay it down. So we're building five of these things. Massively in the red. I'm actually going to use some of that excess money as well. Um, we've got enough destroyers, but I think we're going to build two more of those Sardinia classes. So this will last us about 10 months, assuming budgets don't go up. Naval gun research. So now we... So we researched better 12-inch guns. Can I rebuild these ships under construction since they have 12-inch guns? Can I upgrade them? Can I rebuild them? I wonder if I can do that. I don't think I can rebuild it while it's under construction. Well, let's me change the tonnage. Wait a minute. Did those change automatically? Do they automatically go up to the zero class? Why is that one doing it? It's not. But if I change the tonnage on it, it does. Um, what happens if I do that? Ships are built to the design, cannot overwrite design. Anybody know, like, afterwards, do I just rebuild it with a better gun if I want? We want eight and we won't wait. That's kind of clever. Um, but I don't think I can... So if I save it... Wait, 10% change. The, developed from class, 10% change. Yeah. Can't overwrite the design, so I've got to wait. I think I have to wait to do a rebuild. Huh. Okay. Um, we'll have more designs and they'll already be obsolete. So anyway. Okay. So we're building five battleships. I really want my prestige to go up because of that. We're going to have 20, but again... Who cares, because everybody else is building battle cruisers. I'm sure Tortuga is going to love having five expensive pre-dreadnought battleships under construction when he takes over in a few months. Peace shells. 
receiving much praise for battleships requested. The U.S. government is offering to sell us the right to three-inch gun. No. I don't need to buy foreign guns. Interestingly enough, our tensions are really low with the United States. Britain, we're getting... <laughs> we're going to be at war with Britain soon. At the rate things are going. But my reign is almost over. The ambassador from Germany has approached the Minister of the Navy with a suggestion that, we'll, that we curb our naval program in the interest of peace and stability. What do we recommend? That would be tantamount to surrender. Our naval strength is a question of national honor and pride. We will not reduce our naval, Navy unilateral. We could do a treaty. Um, or we could do it... No. So this will increase prestige and tensions with Germany. Which I don't care if we go to war with Germany. That's fine. Um, but everybody else is building battle cruisers and shit. Um, we're going to have to start halting stuff soon. <laughs> Yikes. So the Americans are basically building the exact same ship as we have. They're New Mexico class. Someone said the Arizona was out of date. It's kind of funny. Our ship has more armor and our secondaries are two inches bigger. Other than that, it's almost the same. But I think that means our, our ship is much superior to theirs, which is nice to see. And go. Okay, so it's January of 1906. I kind of blazed through there. Um, we're basically going to be out of money at the end of this turn. So we're going to have to halt some of these ships that are under construction. Uh, really, we'll just have to halt one of them. And... We're going to have to halt two. So, no build requirements, which is nice. But I feel bad that we're sticking Tortuga in a difficult spot. I think if he wants to scrap some of these older ships, now that we're, you know, building some new ultra-modern ships, that's fine at this point. I just hope, you know, I don't think it would be realistic for him to go through scrap entire, the entire pre-fleet. But if he wants to scrap the Trident class, that's fine. Doesn't save him much money, though. Um, we are... We're listening to public opinion and building five massive battleships that are already out of date, or at least they will be once the first of the British dreadnoughts come into service. Everybody except Germany and ourselves and Italy are building. No, even Italy's building. Everybody's building dreadnought class battleships except ourselves, and we have no money. Um, so sorry, Tortuga Power. Uh, I know this is the point where the series is going to end, and... He's going to end up taking over from here. I just have to send the save files, I believe, and he can just load them in, and, and it includes everything he needs in order to take over. So uh, we're on the verge of war with Britain. Uh, we won a war against uh, Italy, and France is financially strapped for cash. And, yeah, we're building five battleships. 100,000 tons worth of battleships, but... um. Probably not what he was hoping he would take over. So that's the situation now, folks. Um, it's going to go over to Tortuga. Now, I will say I'm going to throw a playlist in at the end of this video, a link to the playlist. It, right now it only shows my videos, but all of Tortuga's videos will show up in the same playlist. I will add them as he uploads them. Uh, so, you know, if you enjoy the series, if you enjoy what's going on thus far, please make sure you tune in there and watch his stuff. Um, as well, because I will end up picking this back up in, what, like 1916 or so? Uh, it's five years for me, then it'll be five years for Tortuga, and then it'll be five years for XTRG. Uh, and then at that point, it'll come back to me. So I think we've done a good job with the Sardinia class. The Levasseur class also is another very good class. We haven't really built, rebuilt any ships. We probably have an excess of destroyers you could scrap to save some money. But the thing is, destroyers and service are cheap. Uh, the really stuff you could save money on is some of these light cruisers or, you know, battleships. But even so, they're relatively inexpensive. The real cost is coming at over, oh my God, over $12 million of naval budget is being eaten up by these battleships that are being built. And, you know, I, I'd hate to say you can't scrap any, but like, don't you think the public would be kind of pissed if they gave you all this money to build battleships and then you just scrapped them right away? Um, I don't know. We'll have $2 million coming off the books with these two new cruisers coming off the ways, but he'll probably have to keep some of these halted for a while. 
Anyway, guys, uh, that's going to about do it for my part of this series. This is the end. I've been playing from 1900 to 1905, and now it's someone else's turn. So I'm going to have to hand the reins over to Tortuga Power, who will take the series from here. And then in January of 1911, he too will pass the reins on to XTRG. After XTRG, it will circle back to me in 1915. But for the moment, guys, that's all she wrote for me. What I'd like you to do, though, is click on the playlist at the bottom of this description here, and you can follow the series as it progresses, because Tortuga Power will take the series from here uh, for the next five years. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, click on the link in the description. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.